guys it's your boy here this is part two of destroyers versus old boys as you can probably see it's bottom with the seventh we stopped at the seventh phoenix stretch and the destroyers are whooping the old boys but seven nothing um here is diaz he is 0 for two and tyler who has six strikeouts in the game let's enjoy part two so here is Diaz taking a ball. Takes another ball. Smacks it. Caught by McGuire. And the crowd gets a bit louder. Here is Baker. All for two. Swings and misses at the first pitch. Smacks it, Ortiz grabs it, throws it to first, and Baker is out. Here is McDonald, 0 for 2. Is that up and off the, f off the fence, I guess, the wall. Then this one is hit up, caught by Daniel Martin. Top of the eighth. Oh, crap. Oh, uh, Joe Webster up to bat. Two for three. His dad up, and it's going to be caught by Cervantes. McGuire up to bat. Oh, for three swings and misses. This one's going to be caught by Nate Thompson. Here is Ortiz. Caught by Cervantes. Here's Boyd. One for two. Takes a strike. Smacks that one. Is caught by McGuire. Thompson up to bat. Two for three. Smacks that one up. And are you kidding me? He is three for four. Here's Hudson, over two, takes a strike. Strike two. Smacks it up, and it's going to be caught by Daniel Martin. Cervantes up to bat, over three, taking a strike. Hits it up. It's going to be caught by Carter Lopez. So here's the, here we go. Top of the ninth. Jackson up to bat. He is two for four. Smacks. It's, it's uh, going to be a double for Randy Jackson. Carter Lopez up to bat. Two for four. Takes a ball. Hits it up. It's going to be caught by Boyd. Jackson running to third. He will make it. So here's Daniel Martin up to bat. Hits it up. He's going to drive in his 31st RBI, it looks like. Yes, indeed. Randy Jackson is safe. Eight nothing destroyers. Bradley up to bat. One for three. Smacks it. Caught by Hudson. Bottom of the ninth. Here is Rogers. Taking a ball. Now a strike. And hit by a pitch. Um Antonio Tyler has just hit his third pitcher of the game, his third batter of the game. Um, they're asking if they want to put Lance Sanchez in, and they say not quite. So here's Ramsey. It's it up. It's going to be caught by McGuire. Here, and... Now, 
I believe, yes. And now I'm gonna go and put in Lance Sanchez. Lance Sanchez is coming into the game. He has no strikeout so far this season, but he is 1-0. Actually, never mind. He got seven strikeouts, actually. Now, that throws a strike. For the double play to end the game. It's a double play to end the game. And the Destroyers will take the W just like the letter on their hats. It's eight nothing destroyers here on the on the Eagle Network. <laughs> destroyers win eight nothing. What a score. Um Tyler with the win. Six and oh now. Pitched eight point one also known as eight and one third of an inning. And Garza pitched five innings, allowed five runs. Eight nothing is your final score. Destroyers win, the destroyers win. Of course Thompson had three out of five of those old boy hits. But oh well. Destroyers win. <laughs> That's all that really matters right now. Take a look at the stats. Z won't see them for much longer. So that's pretty much um So as we go through this, this is the T E A, the exclusive A Baseball Nine post game show. The destroyers are now thirty and oh. <laughs> Wow, the Destroyers are going against the second place Braves who have been on a three game winning streak ever since getting defeated by the Destroyers. They are probably going to want some vengeance. They are feeling good, but they had to go against the Destroyers who are undefeated, have not lost yet. They're on a 30 game winning streak. Insanity, <laughs> insanity is literally insanity um yeah with the win over the old boys the old boys are now in sixth sixth place so yeah a new look at the stats <laughs> um i i think that Martin likes where he's at right now or bi wise but wheeler Apparently, three. And I repeat, he. It looks like he might have had a three run home run against whoever the Braves went against. That's, um, that's. Oh, wow. Um, Martin, um, 31 RBIs. As you guys saw, he had two RBIs in that game. And Patrick and Bradley move up the standings in RB, RBI wise. Um, and they now have 25 RBIs. And Hicks passed Thompson. Whoever the snipers faced, Hicks passed Thompson in RBIs. Thompson didn't get any RBIs. And Murray is still at 23 in fifth place right there. And we take a look at the RBIs. Those are, that's everything. Top 100 RBI wise. Then home runs. Well, Wheeler has six now. And he wants to catch up to Thompson for first place there. Can he do it against the Destroyers here in this game? That's the question of Braves versus destroyers and then we look at the hits martin getting more hits <laughs> everyone supposedly yeah got more hits so look at the hit list and stuff look at the top 10 at least actually top 10 right there and the averages, well, this is the averages now. Now, pitching, strikeouts, um, well, strikeouts, 
Tyler didn't make the biggest improvement strikeout wise, but he passed Wilson Knight, and it's all that really matters right now. For, pitching for the Braves will be Jay Johnson, and Ant Brown will be pitching for the Destroyers. Johnson, ERA wise, um, Johnson, ERA wise, where is he? Oh, he is eighth in ERA. A 3.46 ERA. That is, that is, wow. Okay. Um, though he has less strikeouts than Garza. Also, ERA, Ant Brown pitching a 0 0.7 ERA. That is, that is clean. Strikeouts, 10 for Johnson, which leaves him at, mm, Tied for, yeah, tied for 29th place with Chambers and Jennings, Carrillo, and Mo Molina. He is there, according to Baseball Nine, since I won't say, you know, tied for a certain place. Um, Johnson is 31st in strikeouts with 10. And Brown is all the way up there, 51 strikeouts. And nine more, he will have 60. <laughs> so, um, that's honestly amazing. Holding the most saves is hail from disorders, which is pretty good for them, I guess. So, yeah. And third in saves is actually Lambert for the Braves, um, with seven of them, so... They could use that pretty much. Mm, yeah. So I hope y'all are ready for Destroyers versus Braves. It's gonna be a good game. Hope y'all are ready for it. And pretty much. Um, peace out. Go Eagles. Go.